Creek Outdoors presents Uncle Bucky's Outdoor Adventures. He broke the jinx. It's that big nine that I saw. And he's got a freak rack. We'll go out there, we're gonna kill us a turkey. Successful Indiana youth hunt. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, December 2nd. I'm getting around, getting my stuff loaded up that I need to finish getting loaded up in the Jeep, and I'm heading up for my fifth try at an Indiana State Park hunt up at Pokagon State Park. So let me get my stuff loaded up, and I'll catch you back in the Jeep. Out in the Jeep, and before I head out, uh, I want to say a quick prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to get out into your great outdoors. I ask that you watch over the family as I'm going. Keep them safe, Lord, to watch over all of us hunters today out here at Pokagon and all the state parks. Keep us safe, Lord. Let us help out the deer reduction. Uh, be successful. Either way, we give you all the glory and honor, and thank you for the opportunity. Amen. Well, I got a trip ahead of me, so I'll catch you all back up at Pokagon State Park. Well, we're here. We got to get in here and register now, so I'll catch you all back out in the field. Well, shooting light is almost upon us, and with the crisp air and the fog, it is looking like it's going to be a great morning. Well, I've got a little friend in a tree right next to me that's making everybody in the woods aware of my presence. This is my setup for today. I'm set up in a deep ravine right at the bottom. I'm expecting the deer to come down the ravine to the east of me and then travel down through the center. Well, a little bit before 8 o'clock I heard a deer up above me so I decided to get the can call and grunt call out and simulate a buck chasing a doe. And boy, did that work. Here comes a buck charging down the hill. It's coming out of the yak. shoot him left-handed, but I hammered him. He's, he's right over here, so we're gonna hang out for a while and uh, <laughs> that's my Well, it's been two hours since I shot that buck. Um, I saw one other deer way over here, and it took off running. I'm not sure, it might have been a coyote. Uh, anyway, uh, he sits right there. I'm gonna get down, he, I'll explain the shot here in a little bit, but boy, he didn't, my, my first park deer. Ooh. I keep thinking deer are gonna filter in here, but I gotta get him field dressed and I got a I got a long haul to get him out of here. Let me show you the hill. That's the hill I gotta take him up. So I'm not used to dragging him out on a cart. I got a four wheeler. So I'm gonna earn this one. Well uh got this nice looking ten pointer here at the Pokagon Park Hunt today. Came in right about five minutes to eight. Uh, I can called and grunted like a buck chasing a doe and he come flying down the hill. And he came right down the path that I walked in on and on the bottom of my boots I put the Harmon Deer Herd or the Herd Blend stick and uh, 
I, you know, guys, I, like I tell you, I use the interdigital. I use that for cover scent. And when you're calling like a deer and they're directly downwind of you, like this guy was, he, he came directly downwind of me. They smell another deer. They hear another deer. They're going to come in. He come charging in. I shot him at 28 yards. Had to shoot him left-handed. I'm right-handed, but I'm actually left-eye dominant. So uh, I can shoot either way. But uh, awesome buck. And I just want to thank the Lord right now for this deer. Thank you, Lord, for the life of this deer, and for the substance it will provide for my family. Lord, I, I come out here to these park hunts and out into your outdoors, and uh, you always amaze me, Lord. And I give you all the glory and honor. Amen. Well, I got a lot of work to get done here because I showed you that hill. Whew. I'm going to be a tired puppy when I get this back to the Jeep, but uh, I'll catch you back for a wrap-up later on. The official weigh-in at home, 165. Maybe 166, 165, right on the nose. Well, I finally had success at one of these park hunts. Um, I've been out several times, and it seemed like whether bad luck or bad weather, one or the other was blocking me from being successful. And I felt kind of bad because, you know, this is why we do these deer reduction, to help reduce the population of the deer. I want to take this moment to thank the people at Polkagon State Park. What an excellent group of people professional and very cordial and helpful and they even go above and beyond the call of duty to make sure that us hunters had everything we needed to be successful and then once we were successful and we needed help getting our deer out of the field they even helped us in um, as I showed you the hill was very steep trying to get that out it didn't appear so on video but down there on the ground wow it was a, a daunting task ahead of me I called the office and talked to a lady there who sent out two young ladies. They just graduated out of college. And although they were tiny, little petite things, they were mighty. They helped me get that deer up the hill. And then once we were up on top of the hill and on the path, they went ahead and took the deer cart and the deer all the way back to my Jeep. And I want to thank you two ladies for the help. I didn't do any videotaping of that because I wanted to help them get it up the hill. Plus, I wasn't sure if they really wanted to be on video. But I thank you, and I thank everybody there at Polkagon State Park. What a great representative of Indiana and our park association and our parks that we have. You guys did an excellent job. I want to thank the Indiana DNR also for having these deer reduction hunts and allowing us hunters to go into these parks and become conservationists, where we're actually helping the deer herd. By controlling the population of the deer herd in these parks, we're helping the undergrowth grow back, and it only helps the, not only helps the deer, but it helps the habitat and helps all the other animals in that ecosystem. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, take care, be safe, and you know, most of all, have fun. Yeah.